Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. It is the 23rd of March. And this morning, I thought I would tell you the story of the very hungry caterpillar. I think you remember that story. I bet you've read it a million times. It's about the little caterpillar who hatched from an egg. And he woke up and he was very hungry. And he went to look for something to eat and he ate all kinds of fruit. Apples and oranges and plums. And then he ate junk food like cupcakes and ice cream and pepperoni and who knows what. It is not a very true story about a caterpillar, but this one is. This is the story of the real very hungry caterpillar. You ready? Once upon a time, a tiny egg lay asleep on a leaf under the moon. And when the sun came up, the egg warmed up and out popped. Come on, pop. Ready? Ah, here he comes, a tiny little caterpillar. And he was very hungry. And he went to look for something to eat. I know, I think I'll eat my eggshell. <coughs> and he ate it all up. You know, caterpillar eggs are not like chicken eggs. They are soft, kind of like fruit leather or fruit roll-ups or gummy bears. But guess what? The tiny caterpillar was still hungry. So he looked around and he said, This green leaf looks good. I think I'll eat that. <laughs> he ate the whole green leaf. And then he said, I am so full, my stomach is just about to burst, and I think my skin is gonna burst too. I better find a good place to hide so a bird doesn't eat me. And he went underneath the leaf, and he fell asleep. <coughs> shh, shh, shh. And while he was sleeping, guess what? His skin really did burst open. He, his skin hadn't grown, only his body did. And when he woke up, he was bigger. Oh my gosh, look how big he is. And guess what else? He was very hungry. Good thing there was a green leaf there. His mommy was smart. She knew caterpillars are very picky eaters and they usually only eat one kind of green leaf. They don't eat junk food. He ate up one side of the leaf and down the other side and until he was so full. Oh my gosh. I think my stomach's going to burst and maybe my skin too. I better rest. And he crawled underneath the leaf and he fell asleep. And the birds were looking for him, but they didn't see him because he was down below. And then, guess what? His skin burst open and, oh, he was even bigger. Oh my gosh. He's a giant caterpillar and he is super hungry. He ate so many green leaves and he, Buffy, shh. He got very full. But this time, instead of looking to, for a place to sleep, he crawled up to the top of the milkweed plant and he took his spinnerets and he wove a little silk pillow right at the tip and then he turned around and he hung upside down and he curled his body into a J shape. You know, my name starts with J, it's Julia. And while he was resting there, his skin split open one last time. And inside of his skin was not a new caterpillar, but it was a beautiful green skin called a chrysalis. And the caterpillar was inside. And while that chrysalis hung from the milkweed plant, inside the butterfly's body came all apart like little tiny Legos and they rearranged themselves. And the caterpillar turned into It's hard to get out of the chrysalis. It's so hard. Ah, a butterfly. 
But the butterfly's wings were all scrunched up because it was a very small spot. So she climbed up, he climbed up to the top of the milkweed plant and his butterfly body pumped blood through all the tubes in its wings. And he laid them out into the sun until they were dry. And when his wings were dry, the butterfly thought to himself, I am very hungry. I had better go find something to eat. And he flew away. What do butterflies eat? Do they eat junk food? I don't think so. They drink nectar from flowers. And the good news is, is that the butterflies are starting to come out now. And the flowers are out, so there'll be something for them to eat. Can I tell you one more really interesting thing about butterflies? They don't use their mouths or their tongues to taste things. When they land on a flower, their tasters are on the bottoms of their feet. So when they land on the flower, they can taste and see whether it has good nectar in it for them to drink. Isn't that cool? Now do you wonder how I made that butterfly caterpillar get bigger and bigger? Can you close your eyes? I'm going to set it up so you can see what I did. Don't look. Don't look. All right, I'm ready. So first I make the little caterpillar go to sleep under his leaf, but guess what? Underneath that leaf is the bigger caterpillar. I'll scooch it back so you can see better. And look where I'm hiding the little one underneath the leaf. So I could just make him disappear. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna put him under the leaf Ta-da! Disappeared. There's the big one. You know what? I made these with my sewing machine and some felt. And I bet you could do the same thing. If you had a needle and thread or an old sock. You know, if you have a white sock, you could get a magic marker and you can make stripes and you can make your own caterpillars. Just stuff them with cotton balls or tissue paper or something like that. I can think of two caterpillar songs that we have sung at St. Columbus. Are you ready to sing them with me? Let's put your little fuzzy caterpillar on your pretend leaf. You ready? A fuzzy caterpillar curled upon his leaf. leaf. She spun a little chrysalis and fell fast asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And when she awoke, she was a butterfly. Let's do it again. A tiny caterpillar curled up on a leaf. She spun a little chrysalis and fell fast asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And when she awoke, she was a butterfly. Great. You know, I wish this was like FaceTime so that when I'm talking to you, I could see you and you could talk to me, but I'm really just making a little movie so I can talk to you, but I can't hear you when you talk to me. Maybe we'll have a FaceTime chat or a Zoom meeting. Have you done a Zoom meeting with anybody yet? It's kind of fun. You can see everybody on your computer when you talk to them. All right, let's sing little Arabella Miller. You remember that one? It's the same tune as ABC. Lit. Dull Arabella Miller caught a tiny caterpillar. First it crawled up on her mother, then it climbed on to her brother. All said, Arabella Miller, take away that caterpillar. <laughs> That's kind of a silly song, isn't it? You know what? It's a rainy day. We could sing one more song. Let's do If All of the Raindrops Are Lemon Drops and Gumdrops. Ready? Here we go. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops, oh, what a world this would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. 
If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gumdrops, 